This is my homemade weather station. I didn't want a mass-produced plastic Far Eastern menu-driven device, so we've gone for a simple nuts and bolts approach. It measures wind speed by a conventional three-cut anemometer, which is displayed on the meter. This is calibrated for the Beaufort scale, but you could, if you wish, use miles per hour or kilometers per hour. A small magnet on the shaft of the anemometer passes a reed switch and the on-off pulses are counted and displayed as speed. To make this clear, I'll demonstrate here I have a shaft with two magnets. I'll put on two just to balance it up and here we have a reed switch and the action of spinning the one past the other causes the meter to display speed. The shafts, complete with ball racers, I salvaged from old VCR recording heads. These are precision made and can save you an awful lot of time. You will need to machine away most of the head in order to reduce the mass. This will avoid the flywheel effect. Incidentally, the alloy is of superb quality and is great for investment casting. For the circuit, there's tachometer ICs available. They're cheap enough to buy, or you could use a triple five timer. I've never been one for a chuck a chip at it mentality, so I've gone for a simple diode pump using just a few discrete components. The wind direction display works on the same principle as the anemometer, except in this case we have eight LEDs and one magnet. And depending on where the arm of the wind vane is, this is displayed on the front panel. And it's in real time, of course. The whole thing runs on a PP3 9 volt battery. The current drain is very small, so the battery should last a considerable time. This is a worthwhile project. It's not difficult. Have a go. Any idiot can buy one. Here we have a simple circuit for the anemometer measurement, consisting of about 10 components, none of which are particularly critical. It's a diode pump, a small magnet on the shaft of the anemometer, passes a reed switch and this reed switch switching off and on pumps up the diode pump and ramps up the charge on the holding capacitor. Effectively the meter is across the capacitor and therefore represents the faster the reed switch is switched off and on the higher the reading should go. If this is too high you can decrease the value of the bleed off resistor or you could shunt the, shunt the meter of course if we find the reading is insufficient, you could add another magnet which would double the pulses to the diode pump. I found the best way of calibrating this is to get a, a passenger to hold the anemometer up through the, the skylight of your car and drive along the road at a steady 30 miles an hour while adjusting this. The rest should be pretty linear. Anyway, straightforward circuit there, which you should find helpful.